I believe we may be about to trigger an event. Phones. Of course, why didn't I think of that? Right? If you buy me one, maybe I'll even do what you ask. Oof, I believe they call that fleecing. Poor guy's gonna get bled dry before long, I bet. I know that girl. Uh, Moe? Hmm, well, nothing wrong with a little splurging every now and again, shall we? Oh, Takashi, I just love you. Konami? That is you, isn't it? Whoa! Moe? It's been some time, hasn't it? Uh, Takashi, how about we continue this in private? Over there. Huh? You wanna go over there? Uh, okay. Is she an acquaintance of yours? Yes, she is. Ah, I thought that might be what was going on. Yes. You remember what I said before, right? Some maids have been permitting inappropriate requests from masters, and conversely, even taking advantage of them. And she was living proof. Must be disheartening seeing one of your own fall into that trap. She did work under me, but has since quit. She's now something of an independent, working at one cafe after another. At each one, she tries to get close to her master, then have him buy her all manner of expensive things. She flouts the cafe's ethical expectations, then leaves for her next mark. And she's been doing this for some time. Sounds like trouble to me. Of course, maids are only human, and there are certainly those who legitimately fall in love with their masters. In those cases, one can hardly find fault. The heart wants what it wants, as they say. But when a maid toys with a master's heart, that threatens the industry as a whole. It cannot be overlooked. And for that girl in particular to pull such a stunt... You kind of take it personally, don't you? It would be hard not to. Then let's go chase her down. Excuse me? You want to put a stop to this, right? Well, we gotta find her first. Thank you so very much, Master Asahi. What, you two are friends? You sure do know a lot of maids from other cafes. There is some inner cafe strife within the industry, but I've always felt it best to stay on good terms. And that's why you're the leader of the maids' union. Every maid in Akihabara looks up to Moe. She inspires us all. No, no, you flatter me, but it's you hardworking maids who deserve the praise. There is a small matter I'd like to discuss with you, though, if I may. Do you recall the problematic maid we discussed at the last meeting? Oh yeah, the girl who's been making passes at her masters one after the other, right? That's correct. We're... Did she do something? Because if she did, that could be really bad. For you personally? Yeah, she's actually working here right now. What? I don't think the owner is aware of her history. Or he doesn't care. She just started the other day. Do you happen to know where she is right now? It's her day off, so I'm not really sure. I see. Well, thank you. If you do see her, I'd appreciate you getting in touch. You 
have to stop her. Pardon? You're the leader of the Maids Union, right? You need to be able to take decisive action, so you have to stop her. Well, I appreciate the sentiment, but... Am I mistaken? Perhaps a bit off base. But you're correct in that, one way or another, she must be stopped. cell phones no matter where she goes moe won't be far behind that should have put the fear of union into her right asahi would you mind terribly if i chased her down that's usually my line but sure i'm game all right then i'll find you again afterward this seems more extreme than moe usually gets i wonder what's going on Apologizing for you're taking this whole nice person act way too far. You may think I'm being a hypocrite But I swear to you. I mean every word stop it Stop being so nice to an embarrassment like me Konami, I've always wanted to be like you. You know, I've always wanted to be one of the popular maids So you yeah, I started to exchange personal contact info with the masters so they'd seek me out by name but it just escalated from there, didn't it? Yeah, I knew it was wrong. But having people buy me expensive things made me feel really popular, you know? I understand. As I suspected, I am to blame for this. What are you talking about? You can't possibly be so egotistical that you're feeling sorry for your own popularity. No, that's not it. I'm sorry because I never taught you the ropes. I never taught you how to be a truly great maid. What are you saying? Don't you remember? I was the one who interviewed you, Konami. You were a bright, honest girl. And I felt certain you would do your best to become a top quality maid. But I was so busy with my union duties that I was unable to take any evening shifts and train you properly. And then you wound up quitting. I didn't even get to say goodbye before you left. It wasn't long before I began hearing rumors about you. And I felt such regret. I wondered what might have happened if I'd been there to give you the training you needed. I told myself it wasn't my fault, that I was just too busy. But I could have and should have made time for you. So, 
I am sorry. Truly, truly sorry for neglecting you all this time. Don't apologize. I don't want to see you like that, Moe. Then what would you have me do? I'm not the icon of perfection you think I am, Konami.